Now I'm back in the topic that I selected, where I selected this article on the pro viewpoint. Now let's say the topic that I'm looking for isn't listed here. So I'm going to go back to the topic list. And let's say in looking through these topics, I don't see my topic or the topic that I want. So I can use this search bar at the top, or I can also go back to the home page and use the search bar here. And this is where you can type your search. So for example, I'm going to type in border wall. Now you'll notice I have some options here. United States, Mexico border wall, US, Mexico border wall, or just Mexican border wall. I'm going to go ahead and select the third one that sounds more along the lines of what I'm looking for. And that will give me a list of results. I have 36 results for this particular search. And there happens to be a main topic on this uh, search. So I can select this, but I can also scroll through and see what other articles appeared with my search. So you'll notice that uh, border was put in bold and wall was put in bold. And then here at the bottom, there are some related leading issues such as anti-immigrant movement, human smuggling, and I can keep scrolling over to the right to see what else there is and keep scrolling through the results to see if any of these articles pertain to what I'm looking for. Up at the top here on the left hand side are the filters. I can sort by relevance to my topic or I can sort by most recent. So I'm going to go ahead and click on most recent and that will update to give me the more recently published articles. I can also sort by source type. So you'll notice here are newspapers, magazines, books, government sources, and scholarly journals. And next to it is a number of how many articles for that source type. You can also limit to primary sources. So if you're looking for specifically primary sources, you can check off this box to eliminate everything else. And you can also sort by publication date. There are two presets, articles from the last 30 days, articles from the last 12 months or year. Or if you want to customize your publication date, you can always type in specific date ranges that you're looking for and click apply. I'm going to leave the results as they are. And I'm going to select US-Mexico border wall, just to show you that it will take me to another page very similar to the one that we saw for epidemics that had viewpoints, critical questions, and timeline, and shows the pro and cons. I'm going to go back to my search results. And let's say I'm looking specifically for magazine articles. When I select magazine articles, it will eliminate all other article types and only give me magazine articles. And from here, I can select the link of the article title and I will see the full article and have the same tools as I already demonstrated in a previous article. I'm back on my results page. And I want to point out something that I mentioned a few seconds ago about the keywords that are bolded. So you'll see border here is in bold and walls is here in bold. It is pulling from my keyword search here, but it's pulling them in isolation. So the word wall by itself and the word border by itself. If you are looking for a specific phrase, there is a way to be more specific in your search here in this search box and that would be by including quotation marks. So if I go back and conduct a new search, and let's say I just do quotation marks, border wall, and either hit enter or click on the magnifying glass, that tells the database that I am more specifically looking for this phrase of border wall together instead of the words in isolation. So for example, here you'll see 
I have 367 results for border wall and now you'll notice that border wall is bolded as a phrase and not only that uh, I received many more results of different source types than I did from my more specific search earlier of United States and Mexico border wall. Um, this is not unusual because border wall could potentially mean a border wall between any country or nation. And so it's not specific to the United States or Mexico. That explains the increase in results. But you'll notice here that now images are included as well as web resources, uh, government sources, and other sources as well. And as you scroll through, you'll see that border wall is bolded because that is the phrase that it is now searching for. The next thing I wanna show you is how to do an advanced search.